May his reign be long and peaceful. Now, while we welcome the new Oni, we say farewell to the late Olu of Wari, Ogyame Atuwashi II, as the mourning period concludes in Wari Delta State. The Shakiris are a people with rich culture and celebrated heritage spanning over centuries. And the beautiful culture was on display during the funeral rites for the late Olu of Wori, Ogyame Atuwashi II, which came to an end at Odei Shekiri. The ancestral home of the Shekiri nation with encomiums showered on the late Olu by eminent sons of the Shekiri land. The 14 days mourning program had come to an end with the ban on festivities in Wari Kingdom lifted. This was evident with the rich display of Ishakiri culture and tradition by the entire Ishakiri nation. Dances of various forms reserved for royalty on display throughout the 14-day period, with this being the high point. The event had the presence of top traditional leaders, high chiefs and other members of the community. This unique dance of the Shakiri people is usually performed only for kings and was staged with a full dance troupe of 250 persons performing, including the kids. This dance was last performed 28 years ago when the late Atuwashi II was crowned. It's only Olu in the Shakiri that you can have bear right for, for two weeks because their program being lined up by almost all the communities that is under the uh, what's it called the Olu of Olu to perform their right day and night. So it's so special. It's the only person in Ishakiri that you can do this for. The development and the unity that they brought to Ishakiri nation during its reign, its 28 years in the throne, was a massive one. Unprecedented development. According to the people, the late Ogyami Atuwashi II will forever be remembered as a father, women-friendly king, a bridge builder, peace-loving, and most importantly, a faithful Christian king who stood by his belief. He didn't discriminate between the men and the women. I will, I will go in the same boat with him to come to be worried, and we come down where all the things come down. Against the tradition of the Shakris, that women should not go into the same boat with the Olu. He was a great man. The Ojomo of Wari Kingdom, Chief Yaya Pesu, who is the chairman of Olu Advisory Council and Wari Traditional Council, tells us more. The Olu, the late Atuwashi, lived a glorious life, touched the life of all Shakiri, as you can see, the people are joyous. This is the final right to tell him bye bye, so you have done a very good work. With the mourning period over, they look forward to the coronation of a new Olu on December the 12th, 2015. Ogyami Atuwashi II was the second son of his father, late Olu Irejuwa II. He was born as Godwin Torisheju, Emiko. He qualified as a lawyer, having obtained a BA Honours, Law Degree and MA Business Law in England. He returned to Nigeria in 1980 to attend the Nigerian Law School in Lagos, where he was called to bar. May his soul rest in peace.